That actually takes us to a woman's step three. When a model looks down her nose at you, what is it? What did the third goddess give Paris, offer Paris? Athena, what did she offer? Victory over any war. Victory, rest of your life, in any battle. Which is giving a man a competition to win, or you might also say a test. <coughs> then what is the man's response? <coughs> Pass. <laughs> win. Win the test. Win the competition, pass the test. If the woman isn't attracted to you, then there's something about you that is not completely feminizing to her about you. Being with you doesn't make her feel like more of a woman. And you've, and you've not done some of one or more of these steps, okay? Check this out. Um, if you meet a beautiful woman and she doesn't do anything to let you know she likes you. She doesn't give you any compliments. Now an offhanded kind of compliment could also be something like, you're weird, with a smile. You're a weird guy. That means she likes you. It's like a little boy and a little girl getting along, you know? When they tease each other, they actually like each other, right? But when a woman doesn't do this, doesn't give you any indication she likes you, but she's really difficult, hard to get, challenging, always challenging you, what do we call her, typically? We call her a bitch. How about a woman who's beautiful and really motherly and nurturing and full of compliments, praises you all the time, and never gives you a hard time. Just always does whatever you say. Yeah, a doormat or a pushover, right? How about a woman who admires you and lets you know it? But she's not all that attractive to you, physically. What do you think of her? Huh? <laughs> a wife? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Chris Rock. <laughs> Chris Rock's wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's your buddy. And the same uh, ends up being true of men, okay? Women label us. They really love to label us as quick as they can. Why? Because they feel safe. They can put a label on us, we're safe. But then we're also not attractive. Right? Because need, they need that little bit of dangerousness to us. So a guy that just walks on into a place and sticks his chest out and he's like all proud of himself and he's like, hey ladies, has failed to do what? Be mysterious. And girls might call him uh, like a cheese ball or a douchebag. Right? How about a guy who's mysterious but then doesn't get to the point of interacting with the woman or displaying his masculinity to her and helping her out with it. Never gets to hear. Never even gets to the point of getting tested. What's that guy? Just mysterious. How about a weirdo? How about a real strange guy? Aloof. Aloof? He's a weirdo. Creep. Creepy. If he only does m mystery. Okay? So we don't do these just in isolation. We eventually have to do them all.